A New York Times article claiming that climate change could be the end of summer vacations, despite a global rise in tourism citing extreme heat and natural disasters, writing, quote, unabated climate change will cause more misery, more hardship, and cost millions of lives in the years to come. The cognitive dissonance of summer travel in a warming world is catching up to us. Here to react, Climate Depot publisher Mark Morano. Mark, I literally choose the hottest place I can go to, so I don't know what they're talking about. I love hot weather. Well, what they're doing, this is, you know, the, the COVID PSYOP and ending in terms of all their restrictions and the climate PSYOP is beginning. This yeah. is this is the New York Times signaling that our ruling class is telling us that vacations are now a thing of the past. They're trying to set our mindset to give up on vacations and they're giving up our freedom of movement. The New York Times is suggesting because of the extreme weather, which, by the way, even the United Nations says hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, droughts, wildfires are not on increasing trends on climate timescales of 30, 50, 100 years. The media has to hype a single day, the hottest day in 100,000 years. Turns out it wasn't even anything related to that. They claim it was boiling oceans, not happening uh, in Florida. It turns out it was one thermometer in dark, murky water with high sediment that the meteorologist said. I mean, they're doing everything they can to weaponize it. And now they're coming after vacations. And what the New York Times is claiming is that somehow people are going to have to stay home and it's literally in the article, huddled around their air conditioner at home because the weather is too extreme because our previous travel has made the yeah. earth uninhabitable. This is insane, unscientific, silly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's insanity. And you know that the people promoting this are going to get on their private jets and go to their, you know, island somewhere. Yes. Uh, okay, so let's move to another topic because this one really makes me mad. Sure. So uh, bald and golden eagles are being sacrificed in California at the altar of the green agenda. There's a new b yes. bill that's going to allow competing environmental factions on the left to kill off eagles in the name of saving the planet. So these windmills are killing eagles, which are, you know, our national bird. Yeah. And I believe, and I, this was brought to my attention by Representative Shannon Grove in California, I believe that there's not one Democrat that voted um, against the, a bill to make it legal to kill these birds with their windmills. Yeah, I mean, this is literally where you think endangered species would be the number one priority of the environmental movement, but no, green energy politics trumps endangered species. And I just got back from uh, off of Martha's Vineyard. We were 25 miles off of Newport, Rhode Island on a whale uh, a protest against the offshore wind off the coast of New Jersey and New York and Connecticut. Yeah. And we were joined with a few environmentalists, but the bottom line is they are willing to lose whale species. They are lose, willing to lose bird species all at, at the all of this green agenda so it's it's uh, it's a it's they're slaughtering these endangered species Mark, if a if fossil fuel company did half of what they did they'd be destroyed they'd be shut down absolutely it's it's it's, it's unbelievable really quick talk to me um, very quickly about what globalists are doing to collapse our food supply because I think this is actually the most important topic uh, this is the most important. John Kerry now has his sights on the United States. They are going after high-yield agriculture uh, with nitrogen fertilizer. They're going after cow agriculture. They're trying to push Bill Gates' lab-grown meat. They're trying to push the insect eating. Uh, and John Kerry is now saying that this is all coming to the United States. Bill Gates is the largest single farmland owner in the United States. We have farmers losing their farms because of climate compliance regulations, which mean that small family-run farms can no longer exist. It's all going to the big corporate equity asset, billionaire-owned, Chinese-owned agriculture. This is a bad move for the world. We're going to be dependent uh, uh, on, on the forces of people who say that the, they want us to basically go nowhere and be happy and eat lab-grown meat made in a steel vat in Petri dishes and printed on 3D printers. That's Bill Gates' stated goal. Of, uh, of, of his vision of American agriculture. Mark, we're going to have to bring you back to break that down further. I think this is one of the most important topics, and we're definitely going to have you on my podcast from the kitchen table. We're, we're, we're looking at booking you to talk about this topic in particular. It's, great. Um, it's unbelievable, and Lots it's coming. Uh, Mark, always great um, having you. Thanks for joining us today.